Sophia. I chose chemistry A-level because out of all the sciences, it's always been my favourite and I felt like doing the A-level would give me the opportunity to delve deeper into the subject. Hi, I'm Jay and I decided to study chemistry at A-level because I've always really enjoyed the subject and I wanted to learn more about it from just the basic GCSE syllabus. So in chemistry, the topics are divided into organic, inorganic and physical. In organic chemistry, we've covered um, more, we've gone into more detail about alkenes and alkanes from GCSE. We've covered topics such as halogenic alkanes, alcohols, um, carbonyl groups. Uh, we study a range of different things in chemistry, uh, from learning about mass spectrometry, which is identifying different elements and compounds, and uh, delving further into the reactions between molecules and the mechanisms involved and how they actually work. Last term we went to a lecture, um, a chemistry lecture, and it was a day full of just lectures about different types of chemistry and, um, for example, material sciences and how chemistry is being used every single day and how it's changing, um, it's a growing industry and how, and it, it really helped me see that you know, chemistry is something that I want to study in the future because it is really interesting and yeah, it's really diverse. There's Chemistry Society, which runs every Wednesday uh, lunchtime, which is actually really fun because you get to learn more about chemistry beyond the syllabus and like how it works in everyday life. You get to have a bit of fun with it as well. I remember one time we just played dry ice. It was quite fun. So WIM Talks are basically um, a project where you choose any topic around the course you want to study at university. So mine was chemistry and I chose to do um, the chemistry of diet drinks and their effects on your body and I thought that would be a really good topic to engage with the audience because it's something that the audience can relate to on a daily basis of just drinking diet drinks and how it affects our body. And I really enjoyed researching it and it's actually helped me a lot in my chemistry A level course because some of the different mechanisms um, relate to the structure of the chemicals in diet drinks and I really enjoyed just seeing a different size chemistry apart from away from the syllabus. So I did one on the chemistry of eating disorders and I did one on the chemistry of bioluminescence and how it occurs in animals and uh, they're two very different um, topics but both centered around chemistry and it really it really developed my um, like joy for chemistry and like learning more about how it's like involved in everyday life. Yes, so I'd really like to study chemistry further, either at Oxford or Imperial. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do after studying chemistry, but um, perhaps research in, and I really think the skills that I will have developed during, doing chemistry at university will really benefit me in the future. I do actually want to study chemistry further. I'd like to study it at university. And I'm not really sure entirely what my route's going to be, but I know that there are so many different um, careers that you can go on to from chemistry, whether it's in business and finance, or whether it's further in the chemical industry, such as like pharmaceuticals. Or